shenyun.com. Live from the CBS Broadcast Center in Los Angeles, this is CBS 2 News This Morning at 8.30. And a very good morning today. It is Sunday, December 26th. Welcome to CBS 2 News This Morning at 8.30 and streaming on CBSN Los Angeles. I'm Jasmine Veal for Amy Johnson. Now there's a lot going on in your world today. Here's your SoCal eye opener. The rain and high winds are not over just yet. A tree toppled over in one neighborhood. The damage it left behind. COVID cases have more than tripled in the county. How you can prepare yourself for testing in the coming days. And the countdown for 2022 begins. A live look at the hardworking volunteers preparing for this year's Rose Parade. All right, we're going to start off with a look at the weather with our meteorologist Alex Biston working through the holidays. Alex, so good to see you. So good to see you, Jasmine. And it is so hard to believe that just a few days, in just a few days, it will be 2022. Mental am still stuck in 2020. So <laughs> wild to think about that. Well, good morning, everybody. Yes, happy Sunday. It is the day after Christmas. We had a storm move through last night, and boy, did we. Uh, we saw some pretty impressive rain totals. It was a quick moving storm system. We're seeing lots of sunshine this morning as we head to downtown Los Angeles, a mostly clear sky temperatures in the upper 40s. So yes, it is a chilly start to the day and you know what temperatures this afternoon will be below average, but you know what? We're going to be dry. So if you're hoping to get outside, get outside today. Uh, what I have gardening, shopping, whatever you have to do. Uh, today's going to be a great day to do so. We've got more rain in the forecast, more mountain snow too. We'll talk details coming up. Jasmine, back to you. And look at that. Speaking of rain, wet and windy on Christmas. And this is what it looked like yesterday in the San Fernando Valley when it was pouring. The rain it was steady all day long, even causing some flooding. Let's go to Woodland Hills. A tree uprooted, toppled over, and landed on top of a pickup truck. And it fell all across the street. Uh, this was at Shoop Avenue and Friar Street. Fortunately, no one was hurt, just that poor owner of the pickup truck having to deal with that. LA County has seen a huge jump in COVID cases just over the last week. The number of new cases has more than tripled in LA County. That trend is expected to continue next week, and so will the massive demand for testing. We were told thousands of people were swabbed here at this drive through clinic along the Sepulveda Pass yesterday, but some who waited for several hours to get tested at a Kaiser Permanente clinic in Anaheim were actually turned away. The same thing happened at another Kaiser facility in Downey. Almost two hours. And what are they telling you? No, they're saying you won't make it by one o'clock. I have a procedure that needs to be done. COVID testing before my procedure and now they're telling us that they're not doing it. Anymore. Well, the operator at the Sepulveda Pass testing location says the positive rate was 2% three weeks ago. Now it's 12%. He says what's more concerning is that almost half of those who tested positive have no symptoms. Meanwhile, doctors say the high demand for those home COVID tests is a good sign that people are taking Omicron seriously. The concern, of course, is at risk family and friends, the elderly and people with underlying health conditions. Medical experts continue to emphasize being vaccinated and getting that third shot will really help slow the spread. We need to move from away from the terminology of referring to 